Hello world, today we are learning about modifying tables. In the previous episode we learned how we can create tables using the consoles, the data types, we saw the different rules and regulations governing the creation of tables. Now today we want to see how do we modify tables. For instance, I may have created a table but I forgot to include one of the columns and this column is one of those that are really important. Or maybe I could need to rename a column or even delete a column I don't want. Or I could also have given the table a wrong name. Maybe I want to change it to a more meaningful name. All that is what is covered in what we call modifying tables. And in this episode, we are going to focus on just that. When you're modifying the table attributes, table attributes meaning I, I want to change maybe the data type, maybe the column, I want to delete a column, I want to add columns, I want to change the number of characters, that is called modifying table attributes, all those are table attributes. So whenever we need to modify table attributes, we use the keyword called outer table. And I want to look at a few of the operations we can do with outer table. For instance, we need to add a new column. To add a new column, we shall use the outer table and then we specify which table name. You say outer table, outer meaning make a change to a given table and then the table name we have to specify the table name maybe the table it is employees or any table we have to say outer table then the table name we use the add keyword to add column attributes for example the column name, the data type and the number of characters so whenever we need to add a column just say outer table then the table name and then we add the column if we need to rename a column we shall also do the same we shall just say outer table and then we bring in the table name we use the keyword rename column then after using the rename column we specify the old column name to the new column name let's first see this in action so let us first check for the tables we have and we have just created the course table the department the faculty and then the program when I describe this table called the students, when I describe this table called the students, you can see that we have only three columns, the first name, last name, and email. But remember it had a lot of columns. You can see that this table student had a lot of columns. So we can decide to add other columns using the outer table. So we can just make a change to this table and we add other columns. For instance, we are going to add maybe the registration number and the other name the registration number which will be our primary key and then the other name so to add another column these two columns we are going to say outer table and then the table name is students and we are adding then we open the bracket since we have multiple columns to add but if we had one we could just leave the brackets out so we just say registration number then the data type and the number of characters could give it a constraint primary key because it is the primary key from this table when you look at this it is the primary key because of this key so it is the primary key after that we put a comma to bring in another column which is the other name then we bring in the virtual the data type we may not give this any constraint remember we said constraints are optional you can either put it there or you may leave it so when you run this, you get learning into an error which is the table must be empty to add a mandatory column, meaning that we can't add any primary key to this table unless uh, the records, remember this table has some records, remember when we, are, we created it from an existing employee's table. So if you didn't watch that, you can watch it from here. So what we can do, we can either leave out the primary key constraint or we can first truncate we can delete all the records we delete all the records using the truncate and then the table name i don't know which one is easier but let's first truncate truncate table students so all the records are now removed no records are there so we can now run our previous query to modify this and I run you can see that the records are now the table is now changed it has two new columns and now uh, we cannot add uh, some constraints like the primary key because the primary key is 
you must have a primary key. We can't leave the primary key empty. And whenever a column should never be left empty, we have to specify that at the start, not but not when you are modifying the table. So that was the cause of that error. And after deleting all the records from the table, you can see that you can now add these columns with the primary key constraint successfully. We can also decide to rename a column from one particular name to another name. So we can describe this table and you see that the new columns have been added. So we can see that we now have the registration number and other name. We may decide to rename a column, we may decide to rename the last name from last name to maybe surname. We can do that using the outer table. So we come here and we modify this. We need last name to become surname. So we just say outer table students and then rename column from the current name to a new name. So when you run, we can see that the table has been changed. And indeed, when you describe, you can see that we no longer have the last name, but we have surname. We may decide to change the number of characters. For instance, we may decide to have this email from 35 to maybe something like 40. To change the number of characters in a particular column, we use the modify. So you're going to say outer table student, modify, and then you specify the new column attribute. The column is email and it is Badger two, we can specify the number to 40. Here the data type was Vacha and it is still Vacha and it is 35. Now we are changing it to 40 characters and when you run this, you can see that the table has been changed. When I describe this, you can see that it is no longer 35 but it is 40. The same applies if I need to change the data type for any given column, I still use the modify. For instance, I need to change the data type for reg number. It is not virtual, but they should be numbers. We just, registration number is a numerical value, so we can use the number rather than virtual two. To do that, we shall do the same. We shall just modify and we say the reg number should be a number rather than a virtual and then it will take 15 characters so in Iran you can see that the table has been altered and when we describe indeed you see that registration number is now a number no longer a virtual data type we can as well delete columns we don't want from a table to delete a column we use the drop column keyword. We use outer table, then the table name drop column. For instance, in the course table, I may decide to delete the credit unit. Maybe it's not used. Maybe it's not so important. And to delete that column, we say outer table. This time it's not students. This time it is course. Then we say drop column don't say delete column but you said drop column is the course course unit so when I run this I run into errors let us first describe a table called course we may have forgotten uh, it's called credit units not course unit so we had just that misinterpretation so we could just delete credit unit so when I delete you can see that the table has been changed and indeed when I describe this table course you can see that it now has three columns rather than the four columns the credit unit has been deleted we can also decide to rename tables for instance we may decide to rename this table called the course from course to courses maybe the name course doesn't reflect the true meaning of this table so we could just change this to courses 
to change the equals, we should know that we are doing this operation on the table itself. The previous operations were just on table attributes like columns, changing the columns, deleting columns. But right now we are working with the table itself. So whenever we are working with the table itself or making changes to the table itself rather than its attributes, we don't use outer table. So whenever you are renaming, we use the rename keyword. So we just say rename and the table name is course to courses. So this I shot at this, it is a statement we need to rename a table. So just say rename, then the old table name to the new table name. So when you run this, you can see that the table has been renamed. So if I run this previous query, I will run into errors. They say the object course doesn't exist. Why? We already renamed it to courses. So when I describe courses, you can see that the records are there. So that is how we rename tables. Just like we can rename tables, we can also decide to delete tables. To delete tables, we use the drop keyword. We just say drop table and then followed by the table name. This tense, we may decide to drop this table. Uh, I need all my tables. <laughs> A simple table just with one column. Let's call it the dummy. And then just one column name let's give it to a char and so when you run the table is not created now i'm going to delete it and when you need check to see if this table is among those that are there you can see that we have the dummy table so i'm going to delete this dummy table rather than deleting my tables so to delete the table i just said drop table dummy so when you run you can see that the table is now dropped and if i select stuff from the tab you can see that it's no longer available among our tables so those are some of the operations we can do when we are trying to make changes or when you're trying to modify the created table so when you're modifying tables we use the outer table keyword whenever we are dealing with table attributes for example adding changing the column length and so much more then we also have we can rename tables or we can delete them using the rename keyword and then the drop table keyword that's all for this episode in the next part of the series we're going to learn about data manipulation let's meet there